Hello all. Today, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to properly install BFD content expansions. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial on a PC, but the process for installing BFD expansions is virtually identical on Mac OS. It's worth noting that BFD License Manager does require an internet connection for initial login and authorization of products. Once your products are registered, authorized, and installed, you'll be able to use them offline. Okay, let's start by getting your expansion registered and authorized. Expansions are downloaded and installed in the same way as your core audio library by using the BFD License Manager to authorize the expansion and download the installer. When you go to purchase your expansion, you'll be prompted to enter your email address. It's very important to make sure that the email address you enter here is the same one you use to log into the BFD License Manager because the license for the expansion will be sent to the account linked to that email address. So go ahead and complete your purchase. And once you're done, open up the BFD License Manager, and after it refreshes, your new expansion will appear here. So just click Authorize, and now your expansion is authorized for use on your computer. While authorized BFD products do have permanent licenses, BFD product registration requires an authorization check-in every 90 days. This verification is done automatically in the background, but your computer will need an internet connection when each check-in period comes around, and you may be prompted to connect to the internet when this happens if you aren't already. Additionally, after installing a new expansion on a PC, you may be prompted to allow the installer or program through Windows Firewall. If you get this prompt, simply allow the newly installed software on whichever networks are applicable for you. So, while your product is selected in the License Manager, you'll see the option to download the expansion under the Actions pane at the bottom. Before we start downloading the installer, let's take a look at some helpful organization techniques we can use to both save space on the computer and ensure efficient functionality of BFD3 when it's using your content. So in License Manager, I'm going to go to File, Options, so I can set the default download location for the installer and know exactly where it'll be saved in my system. If you prefer, you can leave this to the default location, which will be your system's downloads folder, which I'm going to do here. After you've installed the expansion, you can choose to delete the installer if you wish, or back it up to an external drive, which is useful if you ever need to reinstall an expansion and the computer you're installing it on isn't regularly connected to the internet. Whether you choose to back up the installer or not, we recommend deleting the files on your computer's internal hard drive after installation is complete to save space in your system. Additionally, ensure you have enough space on the drive you want to download your installer to. Your download will stop before completing if there isn't sufficient space on the selected drive. Next, let's create a core audio content folder to store your expansion in. Since BFD expansion packs can be quite large, we recommend using an external SSD or HDD to keep more space available on your computer. If you don't have an external drive, you can create your content folder on your main system drive if you have enough space on it, which you can see I've done here. To do this, I clicked on my internal hard drive, my C drive, and created a new folder called BFD Content. Regardless of which drive you create this folder on, make sure it's as close to the root of the drive as possible, meaning if you create your content folder deep within many other folders on the drive, your system may take longer to access and locate your content while in use. To summarize, your core audio content folder is different than your download location, your download location is where your expansion's installer will be downloaded, while your core audio content folder is where the actual contents of your expansion will be stored and used by BFD3. So now that your download location is set and your core audio content folder is created, let's get your new expansion downloaded and installed. Click on the expansion in the License Manager, and in the Actions pane, click Download. The License Manager will switch to the Downloads tab, and you'll see your installer's download progress. If needed, you can pause your download at any time by clicking the pause button. And once the download finishes, click the play button to run the installer. Click next, agree to the terms and conditions. And on this screen, click BFD3 only to select your expansion for installation. And then you'll be prompted to set a download location for your content. So click Browse, and navigate to the BFD Core Audio Content folder you created earlier. So now just click Install, and now click OK on this screen to create a new folder for your expansion inside your Core Audio folder. 
Due to the large size of many expansions, this may take a bit to finish installing. Once the installation is complete, click Done, and now you can go back to your Downloads tab in the License Manager and click the X to clear the installer from your download queue. So now that your expansion is installed, open up BFD3, and you'll be prompted that the program has detected new content. Click OK, and BFD3 will scan for your expansion and confirm when it's found it. If your expansion isn't found automatically by BFD3, click Tools, Set up Content Locations, then click Search Folder, and navigate to your BFD Core Audio folder and click Select Folder. Then your new content will be successfully scanned and loaded into BFD3. Note that if the expansion you installed is a collection of individual drum samples, like one with just snare drums, the content will be loaded into the appropriate tab in BFD3, which in that case would be the Drums tab. Otherwise, full kits can be found in the Kits tab. So that's how you register, authorize, and install new BFD expansions. If you need more info or assistance, go to bfddrums.com forward slash support. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new BFD content.